Hey there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to add your Google Analytics tracking code easily to your WordPress site. First thing we're going to do is uh, log into your WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to plugins and add new and we're going to add the plugin that's going to make this a lot easier for us. So we're looking for one called Monster Insights. It used to be called Google Analytics by Yoast um, and then it was sold to a different developer and so now it's being changed by uh, the Monster Insights group. It's a very solid plugin. It gives you lots of options for what to track and what not to track and this is the one that I prefer to use. So we're going to go ahead and install and activate this plugin. And then over here on the left hand side we're going to see our insights. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And the first thing it's telling us to do is to authenticate with Google Analytics for the site. Now what it wants you to do, um, what you can do is authenticate with your Google account that you have created your Google Analytics site with. Um, if you choose not to do that, so you would just click on this and it's going to ask you to authenticate with your Google account. I prefer not to do that and I actually usually choose to authenticate manually so I'm going to click here and click the authenticate manually and it's asking you for the UA code. So in your Google Analytics account the UA code is a tracking ID we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste that in right here and that's basically it. We're going to go down and we're going to click Save Changes. Now there are some other options on this page here that we'll review just as soon as the page reloads. Make sure we have our tracking code saved. Okay, so our settings are saved and just quickly I'm going to show you some of the other things on here. You can choose to disable the dashboard which means you wouldn't be able to see the Google Analytics information here in your WordPress site. You can um, it doesn't make a difference if you choose not to do that. If you have other people working in your site potentially that you don't want to be able to see this information then maybe you want to hide that. Uh, the other option here is whether or not to allow for automatic updates. I'm going to go ahead and select minor only but I generally prefer to make sure that I can have a solid backup before I do any updates so I don't want it to do any major updates uh, without a backup. I'm also not going to check the allow usage tracking. It's just my own personal preference. Um, I like to keep my uh, activities private from the developers. It um, doesn't make necessarily make any difference. They're not going to get any uh, personally identifying information. They're not going to have any access to your site. It's just my preference to, uh, to leave that unchecked. So one last thing we're going to do before we're done in here is I'm going to come up here to the tracking tab. And as you can see here under the engagement one, it's going to ignore these user roles from tracking. It's going to ignore administrators and editors. So anybody that is currently logged into your site as an administrator or an editor, if they're clicking around to different pages on your site, it's going to ignore that activity. Um, I like to do this for several reasons. One, it makes sure that my statistics uh, for visitors aren't skewed based on my own actions. If I'm coming to the site, checking out blog posts, uh, verifying things, bouncing from different pages, that kind of thing. It's not going to affect the statistics as long as I'm currently logged into the site, which I am. Um, the other thing that we want to do is check out, track outbound clicks and download links. I like to do this because then you can see if you have a link to something that's taking people away from your site, you can see um, when they're using that or not. So it is using the JavaScript and that's fine. I'm okay with that. For the demographics, we want to make sure that we can track demographics so you can see some of the information about who's, um, who's visiting your site. Link attribution, we're going to go ahead and kind of leave that alone, but as you can see, there's some options here. There's e-commerce, there's form information, there's all kinds of good information here um, that you can really customize how it's tracking your information, or I'm sorry, not your information, but your visitor's information when they're on your site so that you can make sure that your Google Analytics report are really tailored to the information that you're trying to see. Um, so that's it. It's really easy. It just takes a couple of minutes to add the Google Analytics code to your site using the Monster Insights plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel to check out more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.